While congressional representatives got told to stop clicking on ransomware, hello, you may have missed the latest bot that can build itself, something we're gonna hate on real hard, and MIT's trippy 3D interface. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where half the things we talk about on this show were likely dreamt up by a drunk or stoned scientist somewhere. The hair stands up on, I don't have hair there, but if I did, it would stand up on the back of my neck. Not that we're opposed. MIT is back at it again with the white blocks that shift around in intriguing ways. Materiable is a shape-changing interface that lets you touch physical simulations. One potential use, seismologists can use it to see what effect an earthquake might have as it rolls over land. It's made of motor-driven blocks they call pixels that can respond to touch and give haptic feedback. So that means a user can push part of the blocks and then the blocks will push back just like the material they're supposed to be simulating. So for water, they barely push back. Foam, get out of here. It's basically physics in cute block form. That's right, no creepers here, Minecrafters. What the fuck? Do you enjoy a surplus of disposable income but suffer from a complete lack of common sense or decency? Then have we got the right, why does this exist, single serving tortilla maker for you. Behold, the Flatev. This $240 Keurig style machine combines tap water with corn or flour from proprietary pods to press a fresh tortilla out in about one minute. That's so much easier than buying a $2 pack of tortillas at the supermarket like the pores. Plus, you get the added benefit of knowing that the plastic pod packaging will eventually end up in the ocean, killing all sorts of adorable sea life and further accelerating our planet's spiraling temperature rise. Great work, you monsters. Collaborative robots are a thing that's just getting better. Do not want. But now, German researchers have just thrown down the gauntlet. A robot that can build itself, and unlike the earlier version of this from Cambridge, it's actually pretty good. The Franca is a seven access spot with interchangeable grippers, an easy to use web interface, and a relatively cheap $12,000 price tag. Programmers simply position the arm and save waypoints in the software, and now it's ready for world domination. It can also detect and stop on any impact, so the company would have us believe it's completely 100% safe for slaves, I mean humans. And finally, just when we thought all the drone milestones were pretty much met, here's a drone balancing a glass of OJ, then flipping while maintaining enough force to keep it from spilling one single drop. 